Good evening. Thanks for choosing Twin States News. I'm Nick Smith. With the Delta variant of the coronavirus spreading rapidly throughout most of the United States, especially among the unvaccinated, the CDC may soon reverse course on wearing a mask indoors. Tonight, we speak with local healthcare professionals about the new Delta variant, what exactly it is, and how it differs from other strains of the virus. Danisha Branham has tonight's top story. I'm here on the front line where it all begins. Typically, clinics are the first thought for people to be diagnosed with COVID. Nurse practitioner Tan Wilson explains the seriousness of the Delta variant. Um, the Delta variant has been found to have um, increased transmissibility, meaning that there is um, easier and higher chance of you contacting the virus as well as you passing it on to someone else. Um, it's also been found that it causes more incidents of serious illness. Um, and it's also affecting young people more than the original COVID virus. Nurse Wilson also provided those that are at a greater risk for the Delta variant. Of course, the unvaccinated remains at highest risk for contacting the COVID-19 virus, um, including the Delta variant. But we've also found that uh, vaccinated people have also been found to have contracted the Delta variant. But in the vaccinated people, um, there is a less chance of serious illness, death, or hospitalization. I asked Nurse Wilson, when being tested for COVID, is there a way to know that someone contracted the Delta variant or not? We do not have a way to distinguish between the original COVID-19 or the Delta variant when we do our testing. The people of Meridian also gave their opinions on getting the vaccination. You know, some people have allergies on certain, you know, medications, you know, sometimes vaccinations can be a good thing, but if you have an allergy in the vaccination, how is that going to help you in the long run? So it's a really 50-50 shot, regardless of how you feel about it. If we want to get back to our normal li lifestyle, then, you know, I don't, I don't think it's a problem to go and get vaccinated to be, you know, safe out here in this world because it be the best thing to do. With the Mississippi's low vaccination rates, Nurse practitioner Tan Wilson states that those that are not vaccinated and those that are vaccinated should still continue to mask up as a precaution and continue practicing CDC guidelines. Donisha Branham, Twin States News, Meridian.